Welcome to Rise Up Namobio. So in this video, we're going to be looking at algebraic expressions involving multiplication by Metyanata aka the resistor of bad and the love of good hashtag dark and lovely underscore walk by faith and not by sight. So, multiplication. What do you do when you are given an expression like this and told to multiply? I want you to bear one thing in mind, that in multiplication, unlike and like terms can be multiplied, okay? Not like in addition and subtraction, where only like terms and unlike terms can be added. So what do we do? We multiply 8 and 2. Let's start with our 8 here. It's a number, okay? Now, when we go on the other side, is there another number? Yes, there's a 2. So, you multiply it with that 2. So, 8 times 2 gives you what? 16, okay? So, what do we do next? Bring down the A of 8, A, B to the power of 4, the way it is. So, you bring this A down the way it is to the answer. But why do you bring it the way it is? Because when you started from A, this 8, and you looked on the other side of the multiplication sign, there was a 2. Okay? So that's why you, you multiplied 8 multiplied by 2. They are both numbers. Now when you came to the A, and you looked on the other side of the multiplication sign, is there A? No, there's no A. Okay? So... It means you just bring down the A the way it is because on the other side there's no A. So you move on to B, hmm? which is the next instruction. When you move on to B, you look on the other side of the multiplication sign. Is there another B? Yes, there's a B. Okay. Now, what's the exponent of the B, the first B? Exponent is the small number on top. It's also called an index. So the exponent of this B is 4. Okay, what's the exponent of the B on the other side? It's 6. Uh -huh. Now, because this B is 4 and the B on the other side is 6, we add them. Because they are both Bs. Hmm? They are like bases. Okay? Don't get confused. The number, we multiply them. But when it comes to the letters, we look for like bases. Like bases meaning... If there is an A on this side and there is no A on the other side, we just bring it down the way it is. Now, because there is a B this side and there is also a B this side, we add the small numbers on top because it's multiplication, which are also called the exponents. So, what is 4 plus 6? It's B to the power 10. So, this is your final answer. Okay? Let's look at another example. So, what do you do when you are given an example like this? Look at the first instruction. It says, square the number 5. Hmm? Why should you square the number 5, this number 5? Because everything here inside the bracket, it's inside the bracket, but there's a small 2 here. Hmm? So, you use that 2. You say 5 to the power 2. What's your answer? You can even type it into your calculator just to say 5 to the power 2. It gives you 25. Okay? But that you only do to the number part. What do you do to the letter parts? Hmm? Which are the bases and the exponents. M has no exponent. There is no number written on top of M. That means the exponent is 1. Okay? So what is 1 times 2? It gives you 2. Good. Let's go to C. C has an exponent of 2. Okay? So, what do we do? We say 2 multiplied by 2 equals to 4. That's why in our answer we have C4. So, always remember the number part. You can type it into your calculator to say 5 to the power 2. You don't multiply the number part. Okay? You will put it as 5 to the power 2. But then the letter parts you multiply. Okay? And then this is your final answer. So let's look at another example. So what do you do when you have a question like this? So number one, look at this x3. So what you have to do in total is like multiply this that is outside the bracket with everything that is inside the bracket. Okay? 
but first you start with the first part. So you say x to the power 3 multiplied by x to the power 4. Hmm? What answer do you get? You get x to the power 7. Why and how? This is like, because there's a bracket there, it's like having a multiplication sign in between here. Imagine you had a multiplication sign where the red laser is. Hmm? You would have to like add the 3 and the 4. But why do you add it? Because it's the letter parts. And because in front of this axis, there is no number. What does it tell you? It tells you that the number in front there is a 1. We don't write 1 there when it's a 1, okay? So what's 1 times 1? Equals to 1. That's why it's not written there. So what's 3 plus 4? Equals to 7. Good. Now you take again your x to the power 3 and you multiply it with positive 5a, okay? So how do you do this? Just the same way you did to the first part is the same way you do here. So it's the same thing. There is no number, so it's 1 times 5 gives you 5, okay? Now, what about the letters? This is a x to the power 3, and that is a a. So, we cannot do anything to the letters because they are not what? They are not the same letters. So, this 5a, the a will come down just the same way it is. And the x, when you multiply it with this part, x to the power 3 just comes down the same way it is as well. So this is your final answer. Okay? If you have any extra questions, feel free to hit them in the comment section. Example number 4. So what do you do when you have a question like this, for example? Hmm? An expression. Say multiply. We look at the number parts. Look at 4... Okay, just look at the 4 for a while, because it's 4x to the power 2y multiplied by 3xy to the power 3. Let's look at the number parts. We say 4, and then we look at the other side. Is there a number again? Yes, there is a 3. So we say 4 multiplied by 3. What's 4 times 3? It's 12. And then we come to the x, hmm? which is the next instruction. When you come to this x, what's the exponent of this x? It's 2. Okay? Now, is there another x on the other side of the multiplication sign? Yes, there is an x. What's the exponent of that x? It's 1. How is it 1? Because there is no number written, it means it's 1. Okay? So, we add 2 plus 1. Gives us what? Gives us 3. So, it will be x to the power 3. Let's come to the y. Hmm? y to the power 1. It's always 1 when there is nothing written. Remember, don't forget that. It's an important rule. Now, if we have y to the power 1 on this side of the multiplication sign, do we have another y on the other side? Yes, we have y to the power 3. Okay, so we take that y, okay, and then we look at the exponent 1 plus 3 equals to what? Equals to 4. So we will have a y4 there. Okay? So this is actually your final answer of this expression. So here yeah, I have given you extra examples for you guys to practice. Feel free to pause the video and try them out before I give you the answers. Okay. So the answers are as follow. Thank you all for watching. Please do like, subscribe, turn on that notification button to be the first to see the next upload. Share with friends, family and classmates. And remember, together we rise to higher heights, apart we all stay behind. Cheers.